Hi, I'm Kathy Stark. In this lesson, we're going to continue with matrices. We're going to set up some terminology and then work on some arithmetic operations. To begin with, a matrix is determined by its size or dimension. I've written two matrices down. This first matrix has two rows and three columns. We say that's a two by three matrix. The second matrix has four rows and one column. We call that a four by one matrix. You'll often see the notation M by N. That indicates a matrix that has M rows and N columns. Two matrices are said to be equal if their corresponding elements are equal. Here's an example. What we want to do is find the values of the variables in the matrices. And notice that I have two matrices set equal to each other. In order for these to be equal, x plus 6 has to be negative 9, and so on. Let's find the values of the variables. What we're going to do is set x plus 6 equal to negative 9, y plus 2 equal to 7, and 3 equal to k. We already have part of our answer. Let's find the other parts. In this case, subtract 6 to get x is negative 15. In this case, subtract 2 to get y is equal to 5. The second operation, or actually some terminology as well as operation having to do with matrices, is addition. Here's the definition of matrix addition. The sum of two n by n matrices, and here's that notation again, m rows, n columns, a and b, is the m by n matrix a plus b, in which each element is the sum of the corresponding elements of a and b. That actually sounds more confusing than it is. Here's an example. This is what we want to do. We want to find the sum. It is important to note that you can only add matrices if their orders or dimensions are exactly the same. Both of these are two by two. The result is found, the sum actually, by adding corresponding entries. I'll take five and add negative four. I'll take negative six and add six. 8 and add 8, and 9 and add negative 3. Simplifying, I end up with the matrix 1, 0, 16, 6. The next operation with matrices that I want to go over with you is something called multiplication by a scalar. Think of a scalar as a constant or a number. Here's the definition of multiplication by a scalar. The product of a scalar k and a matrix x is the matrix k times x. This is in indicated as times, each of whose elements is k times the corresponding element of x. Well, let's do a scalar multiplication problem and combine it with the operation of addition. Here's what we're going to do. We want to perform the, po the following operation if possible. Now, it would only not be possible to add if the orders of the two matrices were different. These are both three rows, three columns. So it is possible to add. The first thing we're going to do is multiply every entry or element in the first matrix by 3 and in the second by 5, and then we'll add. Let's work this out. First, multiplying everything in the first matrix by 3, I get 18, negative 3, 12, 6, 24, negative 9, negative 12, 15, 18. I want to add to that 5 times every element in the second matrix. Negative 10, negative 40, negative 30, 25, 15, 10, negative 5, 25. I've done the scalar multiplication part of the problem. Now I add. The first thing I'm going to do is add or write down the sum of the entries in each position. 18 plus negative 10, negative 3 plus negative 40, 12 plus negative 30, 
6 plus 20, 24 plus 5, negative 9 plus 15, negative 12 plus 10, 15 plus negative 5, and 18 plus 25. Simplifying each entry, I end up with the result. 8, negative 43, 12 plus negative 30 is negative 18. Then I get 26, 29, positive 6, negative 2, 10, and 18 and 25 is 43. It's your turn to try a problem. Here's what I'd like you to do. Here's a matrix A and a matrix B. Perform the operations needed to find the matrix 3A minus 11B. Stop the tape while you work this one, then restart it to check your work. Well, let's see how you did. Here's matrix A and B and what we need to find. I'm going to consider this 3 times the matrix A and negative 11 times the matrix B. First of all, 3 times A is the matrix negative 6, 12, 0, 9, multiplying by the scalar 3. Negative 11 times B is the matrix 66, negative 22, negative 44, and 0. Since I can included the negative with the 11, what I need to do now is add these together. The result is found by taking negative 6 plus 66, 12 plus negative 22, 0 plus negative 44, and 9 plus 0. The final answer to the question is 60, or contains elements, 60, negative 10, negative 44, and 9. Let's move on to another operation, multiplication. Before I can explain how to multiply, I need to explain when matrix multiplication is defined. Here's the rule. The product AB of two matrices A and B can be found if and only if the number of columns of A is the same as the number of rows of B. In other words, if A is a 3 by 4 matrix and B is a 4 by 5 matrix, there's the columns of A, there's the rows of B. If these are the same, then I can multiply. Let's try an example. What I want to know is, is this multiplication, multiplication right here, possible? To determine that, the matrix that's on the left has two rows, three columns. It's a two by three matrix. The matrix on the right has three rows, two columns. It's a three by two matrix. Since the number of columns here matches the number of rows, in the matrix on the right, these are the same number. The answer to the question is yes. This multiplication is possible. Now I'm ready to define how to multiply matrices. The product AB, and it is important that A stay on the left and B on the right in matrix multiplication. The product AB of an N by M by N matrix A and N by K matrix B is found as follows. To get the I throw Jth column element of AB, multiply each element in the I throw of A by the corresponding element in the Jth column of B. The sum of these products will give the element of row I column J of AB. That sounds much more confusing than it is. I'd like to illustrate that with an example. Find the following matrix product. We'll work the problem by hand, and we'll support our answer with the graphing calculator. Let's do this a step at a time. First of all, these are the same two we used when we determined if the multiplication was possible. This is a 2 by 3. This is a 3 by 2 matrix. The 3s are the same, so we can multiply. The result will be 
a two by two matrix. To get the entry that goes in the first row, first column, multiply the first row of the matrix on the left by the first column of the matrix on the, li- on the right, an element at a time in this way. We'll find two times zero plus two times negative one plus negative one times zero. That result will be the first row, first column entry. Moving to the right, I'm still in the first row, but I'm in the second column. So I multiply first row by second column in this way. Two times two plus two times four plus negative one times two. I'm ready to move down. I'm now in the second row, but the first column. To get this element, I multiply second row by first column in this way. Three times zero plus zero times negative one plus one times zero. And finally, I'm still in the second row, but I'm in the second column. So I'm going to take second row times second column. Three times two plus zero times four plus one times two. I'm done multiplying. I need to simplify each entry. The first entry is 0 plus negative 2 plus 0, which is negative 2. Then 4 plus 8, which is 12, minus 2 is 10. The next entry is 0 plus 0 plus 0. And then 6 plus 0 plus 2 is 8. Notice that our result is 2 by 2. The numbers in the dimensions that are left if the inner numbers are the same. Well, we want to support this work on a graphing calculator. On your graphing calculator, you need to find the button that says matrix and edit a matrix. We're going to edit each matrix in this particular problem. Enter on the name of the matrix you want to edit. So I'm going to enter on A. Set up the order of A, and I've already put in 2 by 3. Push each number and push the Enter key. And then one at a time, enter the elements in the matrix. A 2, enter, then 2, then negative 1, then 3, 0, and 1. Do the same for matrix B. Push matrix, go to Edit, select B, put in the order and the elements. If you want to check that you have entered a matrix correctly, you need to choose Second, Quit, Go to home screen. Select matrix. And while names is highlighted, enter on the name of the matrix you'd like to check. I want to check that I entered A correctly. To get the home screen to display A, push Enter. And I can see that it is what I intended it to be. Now, the two matrices in the example we just worked were A and B. I want to multiply A times B. Here at home screen, matrix and names is highlighted, I select A. Then push the time symbol, go to matrix, names is highlighted, but I want to now choose B. And notice at home screen this looks like matrix A times matrix B. Push the enter key and we get negative 2, 10, 0, 8 as we found a minute ago. It's your turn to try a problem. Here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to find the following matrix product, if it's possible, and then check your answer with the graphing calculator. Let's see how you did. Each of these matrices is 2 by 2. Since the inner numbers match, it is possible to multiply, and the result will be a 2 by 2 matrix. The first row, first column entry is found by taking the first row of the matrix on the left by the first column of the matrix on the right. 5 times 3 plus 2 times 1. Let's move to the first row, second column, and multiply the first row of the left matrix by the second column of the right matrix. 5 times negative 2 plus 2 times 0. Moving to the second row, first column, we'll multiply second row by first column, negative 1 times 3 plus 4 times 1. 
And finally, second row times second column, which will be negative 1 times negative 2 plus 4 times 0. Simplifying each entry, I have in the first row, first column, 15 plus 2, which is 17. Then negative 10 plus 0. Then negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. And 2 plus 0 is 2. Let's see if we did this right by checking our work on a graphing calculator. Choose matrix and go to edit. And what I've done is I've put the two matrices in this problem in as matrix C. Let me show you that one. It's 2 by 2. And here are the entries, 5, 2, negative 1, 4. Now choosing matrix and edit and matrix D, I've chosen it to represent the second matrix in our product, 3, negative 2, 1, 0. So I'm going to quit, go to home screen, select matrix, and highlight under names C, bring it to home screen, push times, and then matrix, and highlight, with names highlighted actually, select D, push enter, and what I'm finding is C times D, push enter, and I get 17, negative 10, 1, and 2, which was the result we found by hand. In this lesson, we introduced the terminology of matrices, writing the order as rows by columns. We went over equality of matrices, addition, scalar multiplication, and multiplication of matrices. I showed you how to enter a matrix on your calculator and to use it to do multiplication. The other operations can also be performed on a calculator. Be sure to do lots of problems from the exercise set of your textbook to practice this material.